Minigames have usually been featured by video game companies as a way to promote the main game or simply as extras added so that the players can have more fun even after completing the primary campaign. However, in Mortal Kombat the story changes quite significantly since there are many features including costumes and even secret characters that can only be unlocked after clearing certain sub-games or side quests. In this list, we're counting down some of the best Mortal Kombat minigames ever. Baraka wins. Number 10. Chess Combat <laughs> Superb. As the name suggests, the game is based on real-life chess games where each player begins with 16 pieces placed on a checkered board. These pieces are represented by characters selected by the player of each round. When it comes to gameplay, it is identical to the original chess, although what makes this version very unique is that whenever a piece comes in contact with another, combat commences in a normal one-round fight where the winner occupies the square of the loser. Player one takes the square. Number 9. Test your might. <laughs> This is unquestionably the most iconic minigame since it was featured in the original Mortal Kombat. It consists of the player's character trying to break a pile of blocks that increases in hardness and changes in material as progress is made through the latter. Despite the success that this minigame saw, it was never featured again until Deadly Alliance, which paved the way for its appearance in its traditional form once again in MK9 and MKX. Number 8. The Secret Survival Mode So far, this mode has only appeared in MK Shaolin Monks and just like the survival mode featured in other games, the player is placed on a stage where they have to defend themselves against waves of enemies for as long as possible without dying. The reason it is called Secret is because this mode can only be found in the Foundry stage where the player has to perform certain steps in order to summon the portal that leads to this minigame. Number 7. Test Your Balance It's very likely that you've never heard of this, especially if you didn't own a PlayStation Vita. It involves tilting the device left to right to keep balancing on an iron bar while flying objects are thrown at the player. In case of failure to keep the right balance, the character falls into a pond filled with some starving piranhas. <laughs> Number 6. Test Your Sight Just by looking at what's on the table, I guess you understand what this game is all about. However, what makes this shell game different in Mortal Kombat are the containers as well as the items that are hidden underneath them, which can be a set of cups, heads or skulls for the containers, and a coin, an eye or a brain as the items to look for. In a dark yet humorous twist, the player upon failure is punished by having rocks or acid poured onto them. <laughs> Number 5. Puzzle Combat this minigame made its debut in MK Deception and is based on the famous Russian video game Tetris. It's also worth mentioning that this mode was influenced by Super Puzzle Fighter, which is a game that was released by Capcom in 1996. Like in Tetris, the main goal is to try to get rid of as many blocks as you possibly can by matching the correct colors. The more effectively you play, the further damage you can cause to the player's character, however, in case the blocks go all the way to the top of the screen, the game is immediately concluded. Nightwolf wins. Number 4. Test Your Strike This game is very similar to Test Your Might, but with a minor twist added to it. The main objective is to break the block in the middle without causing any damage to the surrounding blocks. To achieve this, the strike strength must be set right between the upper and lower limits that appear on the left bar. Failing to do so causes the player's character to break their hand upon impacting the wrong block. <laughs> Number 3. Motor Combat As you may have guessed, this minigame is heavily influenced by Nintendo's Mario Kart series. 
What's surprising about this minigame, however, is the amount of effort that was put into each character's unique special moves and their own customized go-karts, and that is aside from the cute versions of Mini Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Just like in Mario Kart, players compete in go-kart races where they can use boosts, death traps, as well as each character's unique special moves to finish first in the race. Number 2. Test Your Luck The player in this game must spin three or more slot machine style rails that first determine their opponent and then the other added effects such as disabled blocking, armless or headless combat, among many other modifiers, most of which affect both players. Although this minigame officially debuted in MK9, it's very reminiscent of the combat codes used in previous installments, where certain codes have to be entered at the versus screen to predetermine the conditions of the match. Fight. Finish him! Sector wins. Number 1. The Challenge Tower Think of this mode as a combination of most of the minigames previously mentioned, put together into a single tower. It consists of completing side games including Test Your Might, Test Your Strike, and many other challenges that the players must clear for coins and other rewards. An updated online version of this mode called The Living Towers was featured in MKX, which includes more challenges that change after a certain amount of time depending on each tower. <laughs> Are there other mini games that you enjoyed playing? Let us know in the comment section below. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Illusion.